pleated pants. To make the pleated pants, please load the basic pants and an avatar from the female V2 folder in the library window. Choose the Internal Polygon Line tool and then create an internal line on the pants. Select the internal line. You can copy and paste it by pressing Ctrl plus C and then Ctrl plus V. When pasting, you can right click your mouse and set the internal and number of shapes to create in the pop up window. Select all internal lines on a pattern and then, in the right click menu, use Extend Trim Internal Line to Pattern Outline. Clicking four times in a row will select all internal lines on a pattern. Cut all internal lines to prepare the pleats pattern. Hold the Shift key to move the pattern only horizontally. Select the separated pattern, then use Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus R mirror paste. There is no linked editing information on the pasted pattern, so we need to choose the corresponding pattern and then apply symmetric pattern with sewing. Select the two pattern outlines. In right click menu, we can choose Merge to merge the pattern. After merging all of the front patterns, use the Pin Box tool to add pin fixing to the pants in the 3D window. By double clicking on the pattern outline, you can add pins on the entire segment. Add internal lines along the pleats point. Choose Pleats Fold in the toolbar. Click on the left side of the internal lines. Move your mouse across all of the internal lines, then double click. In the pop-up window, you can apply the fold angle for the internal line. Apply Strengthen. The effect of the fold angle will be more obvious. Use the Free Sewing tool to sew the pleats. When making pleats, you should sew from the center point to both sides, and ensure the sewing notches, or directions, match in the 3D window. Now, because of the small size of the pants, the pleats are stretched. To widen the pants, you can move the pattern outline of the side seam and top fly. Use the Edit Curve Point tool to move Curve to make it smooth.
Next, we are going to create the waistband. Select the Rectangle tool and click in the 2D window. You can input the dimensions for the pattern in the pop-up window. Control plus D to make a symmetrical pattern. Shift F to show arrangement points, and then arrange the waistband around the avatar. You can modify the arrangement position in the Property Editor. The waistband should be curved to fit the shape of body. Use the Edit Curve Point tool to add curve points and make the curve smoother. Please make each angle a 90 degree angle, otherwise sharp corners will occur after draping. Freeze the waistband to fix it in the 3D window. Use the Free Sewing tool to sew the patterns together, but please skip the sewn pleats we made before. Activate the waistband, then simulate. Using bond on the waistband maintains the pattern shape and makes the pattern less likely to slide. Delete any unnecessary points. You can move the pattern outline to adjust the width. Now create belt loops for the waistband. Select the Rectangle tool and click in the 2D window. Once again, you can input the dimensions for the pattern in the pop-up window. Control D to make a symmetrical pattern of the belt loops. You can select the Free Sewing tool in the 3D window. It will allow you to sew in both the 3D and the 2D window. We can use the Edit Sewing tool to move the sewing line. Lower the particle distance to see finer details in simulation. There are some bumps in the part where the waistband and the pants are sewn together. You can adjust the point to shorten the segment. Navigate to the Materials folder in the library, then drag cotton, sateen, onto the fabric to apply it. After deleting the internal lines, the pleats will be smoother. 